Hey there, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Ajay. I'm a doctor from Bangalore, India. So earlier today, I got the COVID vaccine shot. It's been around 8 to 10 hours since I got it. So how do I feel now? Should you take the vaccine? What are the side effects and how can you prevent the side effects? We'll discuss all that in this video. But before we discuss all that, here's like a short vlog of me going to the hospital to get the vaccine. Hey, so it's 21st of January 2021, that is 210121. And in the morning, I got a call from the local health authorities saying that today's the day I'm gonna get the vaccine. So I'm ready and I'm going to get it. I'm excited. I'm wearing a t-shirt today and not a shirt. I'm gonna look unprofessional when I go there, but hey, I don't want to take my whole shirt off because I wear a full sleeve shirt and it'll be difficult to roll it up. I don't want to take my shirt off to get the shot. Uh, with the t-shirt, I can just do this and I can get the vaccine. So yeah, I'm gonna look a bit unprofessional, but that's okay. I'm gonna wait for mom. One eternity later. Hi mom. Hi. <laughs> to go and pick up my dad now. So, I picked up dad. Hi dad. Hello. <laughs> okay, time to the, go to the... Why am I stamping? Time to go to the hospital. We arrived at the hospital just a few minutes later. Even though we've been to this hospital before, there were no clear directions as to where the vaccination center was. We had to look around to find the vaccination room. I took a flight of stairs, and shot the video looking down so I can show off my sneakers, no other particular reason. We casually walked past a few random blood stains and arrived at the center. They checked our IDs and took our pictures to make sure it was us and not someone else. The kind nurse explained the vaccination procedure to me. And yes, I know I would have looked more dashing in the video if I had just combed my hair. But hey, I thought I'd let Dr. Mike keep the hot doctor title for just some more time. Now, if you notice my face, I did not even wince. That's how strong I am. Jokes aside, here's a tip for you. If you relax your muscles completely when taking a shot, you won't feel any pain. Trust me. One hour later. So I just got home and they made us wait there for like 30 minutes after taking the vaccine because if there are any adverse side effects like early on like any allergies or something that will happen in 30 minutes so we had to wait there for 30 minutes and nothing happened I felt a bit dizzy initially because of the pain but uh, that was okay uh, nothing happened but uh, another thing that I noticed is the importance of dressing for the occasion uh, when I went there I had they thought I was the doctor's son the kid coming to get the vaccine uh, I had to tell them that I am also a doctor because who would believe that a doctor would go like dressed like this to get a vaccine. So important thing I learned is to you know dress properly for the occasion. But otherwise I feel fine. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do the work for the rest of the day and uh, I'll have to change the evening. Bye bye. So now that it has been around 10 hours since I got the vaccine, let's go into the questions. Question number one: How do I feel? I feel exactly as I would feel on any other Thursday evening. I feel completely normal. I mean, there is some slight discomfort where I got the injection. It's not a vaccine issue. It's just every time you get a, a IM injection, this is you will have some kind of a discomfort for some time. So that's that. No vaccine related issue. I haven't had any side effects, any allergic reactions, nothing. However, since I've taken the vaccine, I didn't work out today. I just wanted to give my body rest so that it can respond well to the vaccine. Other than that, I haven't done anything out of ordinary. Next question. How does the vaccine work? Well, there are two kinds of vaccines here. First is the viral vector vaccine, which is what we are using in India. And second is the mRNA vaccine. So both Covishield and Covaxin that are being currently used in India right now are viral vector vaccines. These are basically genetically modified organisms. Like how you make a red color flowering plant grow a white color flower as well. That is how GMO genetically modified organisms work. So basically what we do here, I mean, not me, the researchers, what they've done here, they have added a few of the spike proteins of the COVID virus on a normal everyday adenovirus. Adenoviruses are the virus that give you the common cold. 
and things like that. So when this adenovirus containing the spike protein of a COVID virus goes into your body, your immune system recognizes this protein and it develops immunity against that protein. So when the actual COVID virus goes into your body, your body is already ready and knows how to fight it off. Simple. So the other vaccines, the Pfizer and the Moderna vaccines are mRNA vaccines. Although we have been researching the technology of mRNA vaccines for over 20 years, I mean, again, not me, the researchers have been researching for over 20 years. These are the first mRNA vaccines that have been commercially produced. These are easier and cheaper to make compared to conventional vaccines. So how do these work? So these mRNAs go into your cell and makes your cell produce proteins that look exactly like the spike proteins on a COVID virus. So naturally, when your immune system looks at this uh, spike protein on your cell, it makes antibodies against that spike protein. So when the real COVID virus enters into your body, all antibodies are already present and it can protect you against the virus. Simple again. So should you take the vaccine? If you ask me, yes, absolutely. Yes, I don't see a reason why you shouldn't take the vaccine. Unless if you have some serious disorders like cancers or some immunodeficiency disorders, it might not be a very ideal thing to get the vaccine right now. You might still be able to get the vaccine. You have to discuss that with your doctor. I can't tell you right away that it's safe for you to take. But otherwise, for uh, the general population, it's very safe to take. But what about the side effects? Well, to figure out the answer to this question, try figuring out your relative risk. If you are living on an island with your family and you don't come in contact with the outer world at all, taking the vaccine doesn't make any sense. You don't need it. You should not take it. But otherwise, if you live in a connected society and you're meeting people outside, going to work, the benefits of having taken the vaccine far outweighs any risk that you might have from the vaccine. All vaccines will have some mild side effects that is normal and that is expected. Let me give you an example of a normal side effect. You feel sleepy after having lunch, right? Is your lunch technically supposed to make you sleepy? No, it is supposed to fill your tummy. So filling your tummy is the effect and making you sleepy is the side effect. But because of this side effect, do you stop eating lunch? No, that's because you know that this benefit far outweighs any discomfort caused by the side effect. That's the same way with most vaccines. But of course, some vaccines may have very significant side effects, but the risk of getting COVID and having severe complications because of COVID is way, way, way more likely than having any significant uh, side effects from the vaccine. In fact, hospitalization rates across India after taking the vaccine is 0.002%, which is very low and which is very good. In fact, if you ask me, I feel that this vaccine has less side effects than all the other vaccines that we've used before. So next, and probably the most important question. Does this mean I won't get COVID? Do I still need to wear a mask? The answer is yes, I can still get COVID. That's because I've got only one dose and I have to yet get another dose, which is probably gonna be a month later. I'm not very sure when. So even after taking the second dose to develop complete immunity against the virus, it's going to take some time. So till then, I am quite susceptible. Even after immunity develops, it's not that I won't get COVID. I might still get COVID, but I won't have any complications because of that. It'll be like a very mild infection and it won't even bother me. But even after immunization, if I get it, I can still spread it to others theoretically. So I still need to continue wearing a mask. So next question, what side effects can I expect and how should I prepare myself? So you can expect a mild side effects after you get the shot. You might have some dizziness right after you get a shot because of the pain. You might feel a bit feverish later in the day. You might have some malaise and body pain. But again, these are not seen in everybody and this is not something that you need to worry about because the benefits that you're getting from the vaccine is way, way more than the slight discomfort that you might have on the day of vaccination. That being said, if you have a history of any allergies or reactions to any injections of previous vaccines, you should definitely discuss with your doctor before you take this vaccine. If you're feeling unwell on the day of the vaccination, don't take the vaccine on the day. Take it only when you're feeling absolutely fine. So rest, rest at the vaccination center for at least 30 minutes after you get the vaccine. If there are any severe allergic reactions, what we call anaphylaxis, this usually develops very early on, like 10 to 15, 20 minutes after getting the vaccine. So if something like that happens, there'll be people trained there to manage it. So you don't need to worry about it. You can go to work later in the day, but um, I suggest you take a day off because you might feel a bit feverish towards the end of the day. 
do not go on any trips after getting the vaccine on the same day make sure you have access to a healthcare facility for the whole day after getting the vaccine just to be safe in the rare case of developing a complication so those were the questions i got from people over the past few days i also asked people on my instagram to ask me any questions that they might have about the vaccines and let me respond to those now so leela shri asks how long does the soreness last I don't know I mean uh, probably one or two days that's maximum how long it will be my shoulder is a bit sore I wouldn't call it sore but uh, there's slight discomfort but I feel totally fine Mohak Muglur Mat asks is it indian yeah the vaccine I took is made in india but there are two vaccines that are being given in india one is the covishield vaccine which is made by serum institute of india but it was actually developed by the oxford university in the uk and there's the other vaccine that is covaxin which is indigenously developed and produced so both of these are made in india but one is one was developed in the uk another was indigenously developed like i said navneet asks does it work i mean the science says it does but i haven't experimented yet so only time will tell das nikki says yes how is that a question okay another indian doctor says will the vaccine get me more youtube subs no you have an amazing channel you deserve all the subs If you guys don't know who I'm talking about another Indian doctor is a friend of the channel uh, we recently had a collab I'll link that down in the description make sure you check it out so in summary I feel absolutely fine it is safe get it when you can when you're offered the vaccine and remember that your risk of complications from covid is way 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 more possible than having any risk of complications from the vaccine so if you have any questions drop it down in the comments and I'll try to answer them I'll see you next week stay healthy and safe bye bye